first version of my application running. It is Sunday morning and my family is out in the city. It's seven o'clock. And I have apps to build, community to run, could work on all of that. But today I'm doing something different. Ciao, Luca. <laughs> there is a book called Dive is Zero. The core idea is quite simple, but a little bit uncomfortable. It talks about that your abilities and risk tolerance declines with years. So if you are saving money all your life to go into the, I don't know, <laughs> travel the world when you will be retired and, or, or climb mountains, uncomfortable truth is that there is a high chance that you will be not able to do that. In a few weeks I will be 50 and that means quite a big difference for me comparing with when I was in 20s. I started to train my Thai in 49 and I'm the oldest guy in the gym and every training is super hard but it's fun, I'm doing that. And could it be more fun in 30s? Yeah, definitely, but I was busy, I was building career in <laughs> corporate. Okay. And then Kia, you know for Kia? Uh, yes, I never ride in boots like that. I was riding only in city. Um. I show you. I was spending long days in office, sometimes even weekends, to get into senior management. And yeah, I became head of products. It was interesting, but not much better than any other office job. So I quit and started to build mobile apps to have way more time with my family. Just the option of working from home makes a big difference. I can be there when the kids get home and spend way more time with them. Building your own mobile apps while freelancing or working as a programmer remotely has pitfalls as well, especially if you are working for yourself and building your own business. That's hustling. Here is what hustle culture doesn't tell you. For every successful hustle culture story, for the guy who was working 24-7 for 10 years and then sold his company, there are hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousand people who died trying without ever reaching their goal. Burned out, broken relationships, health destroyed, and for what? And that doesn't matter if you are in your 20s and this sounds like old man's problem. If you will wait to live until you hit your next goal, the next milestone, you can run across decades without living much. I spent my 30s building a corporate career and in my early 40s I switched to programming, freelancing and launching my own app business in the App Store. And you know what I realized? That the goal never stops moving. You think you will be happy when you get a promotion or your side project will hit 1k, 5k, 10k in a month. Then when you will build next business or next revenue stream. talking about spending money on experiences and yes this day on a motorcycle costs some money not nothing but not significant either but real cost eight hours eight hours i could spend shipping features or creating content for community moving closer to my goals and here is what i learned i can make more money i can build another app i can always find another opportunity to make money but I cannot make more Sundays in my 50s with body that still works. There is another thing that hustle culture gets wrong. They think the rest is weakness. They think downtime is wasted time and you should push yourself to the goal. But hear me out, there will always be the next goal, next milestone to reach. And if you are not happy in the process of getting here, if you are suffering, if you are grinding but you are not happy while you are getting to this goal, reaching the goal will not change anything. You will still be unhappy and tired.
I was riding mopeds and motorcycles in my teens and early 20s, but then I got busy at my job. I married, got kids. Sure, you need a car to drive kids around, and in my 20s I just didn't have enough money to have car and motorcycle. In my 30s and my 40s I was busy building a corporate career and business. I had money, but I didn't have any time for hobbies because I was working 24-7. When I dropped my successful corporate career, colleagues were surprised and decided that it was a midlife crisis or something. Now when I move to Thailand, I'm getting asked again, why did you move? Why don't you build a nice house in Latvia and not live there? Well, I just don't think that it is a good idea to invest all the money and time and wait until retirement to travel and have fun. Things never calm down. Goals don't stop. The hustle doesn't end unless you end it. And here is the hard truth. If you are waiting until you will make it to start living, you are going to die waiting. Because the definition of making it keeps changing. I can promise you, at 50s you won't regret the features you didn't ship, you will regret the rides you didn't take, the vacations you didn't go for, the hours you didn't spend with kids, the trips you decided to postpone. This is crazy, but it's super fun, <laughs> super fun. I hope to come back here and ride those trails way more, it's super fun. Cloudy, but still can oh. see city. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now today, it's small. Today, today I cannot see. This yeah. is <laughs> yes, yes. Small man, maybe. Small, Oh, that's the best uh, <laughs> bike to ride up here. Wow, we are you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we are kind of sweating, <laughs> trying hard, and then guys on, <laughs> coming on this one. <laughs> Now I'm back from ride. I hope that those dirty cameras has some decent clips to show you the ride. It was fun, I can promise you. Whatever it looks on camera. <laughs> but there is one thing I can promise you. As almost 50, I can tell you, in your 50, you will not regret any feature you didn't ship for your application or big important project in your corporate job you didn't finish because I did a lot of important projects. I was so important person that I barely was able to take vacations. It was always challenge to go to the CEO and say, oh, I need to take two weeks off. That's crazy, I know, but yeah. Because there are always next big thing to do. Check out the statute that's saying, memento mori, memento vivere. Basically that's saying, yeah, don't forget that you will die, but also do not forget to live. Yes, sure, it's kind of cliche, but still true. I don't know, if that resonates for you, if you are planning to do something this month, let me know. It's really interesting to hear if you are planning to do something differently, if you are planning to do something new, to change something in your life. If not, <laughs> and if that sounds like bullshit rambling and so on, also let me know, just to know, if that makes sense to record videos like that. Okay, see you next one, bye.